talking about something really important, and you know, I want to ask you, Dr. Funk, with the BRCA test, we've talked about it on this show many times. Mm -hmm. What about that kind of argument? I mean, it really does highlight, I think, a lot of conversations that go on in American homes. It does, and in my office every day. It's a legitimate fear to not want to know the results of a BRCA test. Why? Because even though it's a simple DNA test through blood or saliva, so it's not painful, the results can be devastating, and it forces you to make decisions. Even not doing anything is a decision that you have to live with. The big deal is that if you carry one of these gene mutations, you have potentially up to an 87% chance of getting breast cancer, a 45% chance of ovarian cancer. And if it's BRCA2, we have elevated risk of pancreatic, melanoma, and prostate cancer. So there's a lot of fear that goes into knowing. And women say to me, why would I want to know about something over which I have no control and could possibly kill me? Yeah. But that is a misconception. Knowledge is power, and as cliche as that might sound, you now have the power to do something if you know you have this gene mutation. You can undergo high-risk surveillance. We do a series of imaging like breast MRI, mammogram, ultrasound, and exam space throughout the year. You can take medicines that reduce your risk. Just birth control pills drop ovarian cancer risk in half in BRCA carriers. There's another drug, tamoxifen, that drops your breast cancer risk in half. And for particularly people who are younger or their families are very devastated by death and loss from cancers, women sometimes choose to remove the organs at risk. So we're talking mastectomies and ovaries out. So it's a scary topic. If you had been in that situation, in that living room, how do you approach the conversation with someone who is fearful, doesn't want the test, even though you feel like they, they should get it? What are you worried about? And the answer I get was, is always, what would I do differently? I have an answer for that. Here's what you do differently. I'm not telling you, you, this is the biggest misconception with BRCA. Oh, if I find out, then I have to what? Remove my breasts and take my ovaries out? No, you don't have to. The older you are, the less risk you have. You don't, probably shouldn't even do that. Really quickly, although uh, we only have a few seconds, in your estimation, women out there watching, who ideally should really consider getting the BRCA test? Okay, the basic easy one is, if you have two relatives with breast cancer under age 50 or ovarian cancer at any age, you are red flagged for testing. But what I like to use is multiple, young, and rare. So if you have multiple cancers on one side of the family, more than three, breast, ovarian, colon, prostate, pancreas, melanoma, and stomach are the main ones, then you should get testing. Young, any cancers in the family tree under 50 years old. And then rare, like what, one in three men gets prostate cancer. We're talking rare things, a man with breast cancer or ovarian cancer in the family, then you should test. Thank you all. This was really great. Great information. We'll be right back.